date time. So as you can see, we've changed the driver. <laughs> we basically got we got up the mountain, and the roads, as you saw, were horrendous. And it was so so scary. I've had time to calm down now, so I'm not so in shock anymore. Um, so then we turned around, headed back down the mountain, and we did a route. And so we've scrapped our plans, and we're gonna head for Bolzano. Bolzano. <laughs> That is. In Italy. It is really pretty now, hang on. Damn you snow for being so scary and pretty at the same time. Uh, we checked the weather. There shouldn't be any more snow anymore. It should just be rain and cloud. And then the sun should start coming out. So there's no more scary driving. It's not that we don't like snow. It's that we don't like snow in this car because it's not 4x4. Four four. It barely has legal tyres, let alone winter tyres. It does have legal tyres. <laughs> One that may not be legal anymore. It was only just going on YouTube. By the time you see this, it will be legal. <laughs> by the time you see this, we probably won't have the car. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're doing a two hour drive to Italy. For the safety of our lives, I think it was worth it. It doesn't really matter. So now we're going to have to drive to this city or town, whatever it is, I think it's a city and find somewhere to stay because we don't have anywhere booked but this is real road tripping <laughs> how do you react when you're in fear? Are you asking me? yeah, and the audience, just in general getting everyone thinking so just then for me I was petrified just, like, let me see if I can get everyone to picture this with <laughs> of what was going through my head so Matt has a road bike back at home anyone who knows us really well will know Matt's bike and the tyres are like this thin and there's no brakes <laughs> and no gears and the tyres have no grip so it's for like flat surfaces basically even though Matt does do curves very well Thank you. but it is for flat surfaces let's be honest dry, yeah, yeah, yes. flat, yes. no bumps, no nothing that's what our tyres are like <laughs> on this car so we're driving, getting higher and higher up this mountain cannot see anything think of like the worst fog you've ever gone through because everything's just white and then so you could just see like the lorry or whatever in front of you however i was the one in front because i was going so slowly i was going about 10 miles an hour so everyone was overtaking me which i just said to matt would be so funny if if i was in the right mood not mood but like frame of mind to be like matt film everyone who's overtaking me it would have been quite a funny montage <laughs> my instinct is just to go really quiet so just then i just didn't say a word and my forearms killed because i was gripping the steering wheel so much it was so painful, I just grip the steering wheel, I go really quiet and I just focus. And I think I forget to blink sometimes because my eyes get super, super dry. <laughs> but yeah, I think when I'm, when I'm properly scared, I just go really quiet. Just really focus. No messing around. <laughs> Where if you go normally, I'm more about messing around. A couple of funny stories and we were we, we had finally turned around. We started driving back and we went through this little town and then they came to like a zebra crossing, which I didn't, which I didn't see because you can't see the floor. But there was a man who obviously lived there who knew where it was, and so he started crossing the road. And I went to brake and couldn't stop, and continued. We were literally and we're going like, like sorry, sorry. nine, not even ten miles an hour. Exactly. And so, just couldn't brake, couldn't it, stop. Well, there we go. So that's why I'm so I was so scared because I was going ten miles an hour down huge mountains, and at least that crossing was on flat surface, and I still couldn't stop. So if we're coming flying down a mountain at 10 miles an hour, then I'm not going to be able to stop. And literally the car was like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and so we just had to wave to the guy and be like, sorry, sorry, and he had to like stumble back. And then that's that's when I was like, now I'm done, I'm out. And then we went 10 miles an hour the rest of the way. <laughs> so so nice, clear yeah, but I had a really nice lorry behind me that was giving me lots of space and he didn't overtake me, even though he could have. And he was just, he was being very kind. But then I also had flashes of like, what if I get sandwiched between two lorries because we're in the lorry lane because we're going so slowly. <laughs> what if he doesn't stop, I can't stop and I we just become a ham sandwich. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> With fat and manky sandwich. <laughs> anyway, back to fear. Can you not remember one time? What about the time you got hypothermia? And you were like, I'm gonna amazing. die. I was like, I was, I was in a, a mud race and then got taken to an ambulance. That was pretty cool. I got told I got hypothermia, they took my temperature and I was like shivering like crazy. It was fine. If it was dangerous, they'd take me to hospital. Oh my god. Da, da, da.
<laughs> Damn. Damn. That's great. Thank you. I'm glad you showed the world your talent. Thank you. You're welcome. I went to here. Yeah, so I got really quiet and then I'm just like praying and praying and praying. As we were driving, then I did say to Matt, can you just, he was like, can I do anything for you? He's like, can you just pray? So we just pray for me and us and the car, which is great. We've survived the snow and we have arrived in Italy with incredible views. Views of a lake and pink mountains. <laughs> Maybe we'll insert pictures because Matt's taking pictures with me a little way. We've showered and got out of our smelly travelling clothes and now we're going to head for some food next door, wherever we can find. Look at the size of this menu. <laughs> 